Be warned, there's a limit to my patience. I expect a letter tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sally. The Fan is a little-known 1981 thriller that was one in a number of loner, stalker-type films that came out in the late 1970s and the early 1980s. Directed by Edward Bianchi in his directorial debut, it stars Lauren Bacall as Sally Ross, a popular actress of theater and film. Living in New York City, she is often busy rehearsing for plays as well as hoping to rekindle a romance with her actor and ex-husband Jake Berman, played by actor James Garner. I left a wistful message on your machine last night. I was feeling lonely. Do you ever feel lonely? Come on, babe. Huh? Let's enjoy ourselves. That was always a problem between us, wasn't it? I try to run everything into the ground. And I always avoid Basically, I'm a coward. Basically, I'm a loudmouth. Unbeknownst to Sally, she has been receiving constant fan mail from Douglas Breen, played by actor Michael Bean. A deranged record store clerk and obsessed fan, he writes Sally Ross letters and feels a deep and true love towards her. It has taken me a long time to say this, but I know the time is now right. We will be lovers very soon, my darling. And believe me, I have all the necessary equipment to make you very, very happy. Even Douglas's family starts to realize he has a major problem. Look, Doug, it was one thing when we were kids to, to dress up and collect stuff and, and pretend. But when you grow up, you gotta face the world like... Douglas... Eventually, Sally's secretary, Belle Goldman, played by actress Maureen Stapleton, who has been intercepting the disturbing and sometimes raunchy letters, responds herself to Douglas. Sally gets wind of this and scolds Belle for being rude to her fans. Yeah, well, sometimes you go too far. You're supposed to be my secretary, and I don't pay you to upset my fans. You don't even know your fans. I'm the one that has to put up with them. He's the one that's gone too far. He wants to be your lover, for Christ's sake. What was I supposed to do, give him an appointment? All of this comes to a head when Douglas attacks Belle in the subway and slashes her face with a straight razor. <laughs> Sally soon realizes that the crazed fan who has been writing her letters is responsible for the attack, but she no longer has any of the previous correspondence that he had sent her. Eventually, a New York City police officer named Raphael Andrews, played by actor Hector Elizondo, begins an investigation. I think the lady answered your question, Inspector. Sally never saw the first letters, and obviously Bell threw them away after she answered them. Do you have to tell her about this? We're dealing with a psychotic, a potential killer. Protecting your secretary's feelings is not going to help this investigation, and neither is blaming yourself. He tries his best to protect Sally, while also being on the hunt for the stalker. At the same time, he begins having romantic feelings towards Sally Ross. Soon, the situation escalates to murder, and the letters become hate-filled and very vengeful. Dearest bitch, see how accessible you are? How would you like to be fucked with a meat cleaver? With performances from Friday's Anna Maria Horsford... Dwight Schultz, and then 24-year-old actress Dana Delaney in her film debut. This movie was not a huge box office draw upon its release in May of 1981. It grossed only $3.1 million on a $10 million budget. This movie was directed by Edward Bianchi in his directorial debut. He would go on to mostly direct television series such as Homicide Life on the Street, Mad Men, Boardwalk Empire, and Yellowstone. Filmed in New York City from April to June of 1980, actresses Shirley MacLaine and Anne Bancroft were both considered for the lead role before Lauren Bacall agreed to take it. The film was controversial because within months of its release, 
Dorothy Stratton had been murdered. Magazine layouts were an important stepping stone, and soon she was a guest on The Tonight Show. In a $13,000 bathtub. What would a $13,000 bathtub I mean? So it fits about 10 people. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> what are we going to tell the other eight? Not to... <laughs> John Lennon had been murdered by a crazed fan. Former actor and president Ronald Reagan had been shot as the result of a crazed fan of a celebrity. Pope John Paul II was shot just two days before this movie came out. All of these events gave a negative connotation to the film. The fan rated R. Lauren Bacall was not a fan of the movie upon its release, although in 2004 she stated that she felt her performance was among her very best work. James Garner reflected in his 2011 memoir that he thought The Fan was one of the worst pictures he ever made. Michael Bean was not very well known before this film, but he would go on to play the iconic role of the hero Kyle Reese, sent back to 1984 to save Sarah Connor in the classic film The Terminator. He does a good job playing a deranged fan, and I also enjoyed Hector Elizondo's role as a comforting but tough police officer. If you are in the mood for a quiet, psychological, horror, thriller-type movie that has a pretty good pace, I recommend The Fan.